he is to be put to death. Esther 4, verse 11. Comments. Imagine that you are living some 2,500 years ago in Persia and want to speak to the king. You would not even think of approaching the monarch without first receiving his permission. To do otherwise could very well cost you your life. How thankful we are that Jehovah is not like that Persian king. He welcomes us at any time. He wants us to feel free to approach him. For example, although Jehovah bears such lofty titles as Grand Creator, Almighty, and Sovereign Lord, we are invited to call on him using the familiar term Father. Matthew 6, verse 9. How touching that Jehovah wants us to view him in such a warm and intimate way. We can rightly call Jehovah Father. He is the source of our life. Psalm 36, verse 9. Because he is our Father, we have a responsibility to obey him. When we do what he asks of us, we will enjoy marvelous blessings. Hebrews 12, verse 9. Those blessings include everlasting life, whether in heaven or on earth. Taken from the 2020 Watchtower, February edition, study article 6, paragraphs 1 through 3.